This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. I'm literally on the other side of the world. I'm not in California. I'm here in South Korea and we're approximately two hours outside Seoul. And we're at yet another factory here in Korea. We're actually at the Tribest factory. And this is the factory that brings you the Green Star Elite Juicer, the Green Star Juicer, the Solo Star 2 Juicer, the personal blender and also the fresh life sprouter and we won't forget the all-new Sedona dehydrator so they make healthy living easy so I'm glad to be at their factory today I'm glad that they invited me and you know what that really means a lot when I'm invited to a factory because that proves to me that the factory and the company has nothing to hide because if they did they wouldn't let me you know come to the factory so I'm excited to be here and what we're going to show you today is that how these healthy products are made so that you can eat healthier and eat a diet that is rich in fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. And that's why I like the Tribest products so much because they allow you to do just that. So here at the Tribest factory it composes of three main buildings. The first building is where they basically make the cardboard that the all the appliances are packed into. They also make all the packing materials out of that same cardboard. So they basically, the only input they get is recycled paper. With that recycled paper, they actually create their own cardboard and then form that cardboard into the boxes and the special packing that's gonna protect the machines when they're in transit to you. The next building we're gonna go into, building number two, is where actually they have the plastic injection machines and they form many of the parts that they build their actual machines out of. The final building is where they do the final assembly and they have a warehouse of all the stored materials including the boxes and all the parts that they've created in the other warehouse. They have an assembly area where they actually assemble all the equipment and they also have many different testing areas where some of the equipment is tested before it actually is assembled. So because Trivest makes so many different products from sprouters to blenders to juicers and even dehydrators they have like multitasking going on in this factory some machines will be building juicer parts some may be building blender parts and some may be building dehydrator parts the Sedona dehydrator parts so they'll warehouse all the parts until there's a demand to build that specific model then they'll take all the parts out and set up the assembly line to build that specific item so today we're lucky enough to see them building the Green Star Elite GSE 5000. So without further ado, let's go into the first building and see how these Tribest products are made. So we're in the first of three buildings that have to do with the manufacture of the Tribest products here in Korea. This first one here, and what I like about Tribest is that this is a completely, basically sustainable and green and vertically integrated company. So those are some big fancy words that means they literally get the recycled paper in big rolls and at the uh, another factory actually they roll that up into this paper board and this is what cardboard looks like before it actually turns into cardboard and what they do here and what they're doing here is they're rolling out the paper board and you can see just the big rolls there they roll off a bunch and then they press it so let's take a look at them pressing it next because what this turns into is all the packing materials that come inside the Tribest product. It's 100% biodegradable, recyclable, and also compostable. So I really like that a lot about Tribest. They go the extra distance to basically be that green company that we want to support. So this is the next step in the process. You just saw them actually roll out the cardboard into these big pieces. And actually as they're rolling, it actually rolls glue on the cardboard. Then you see they use these industrial presses to literally press down. Here he's doing it now. He's opening up the press, putting that sheet in that has the glue in it. He passes the button, the hydraulic press comes down and presses the cardboard together. And then they leave this in here for a little bit, maybe five minutes. And then when it's done, it opens up. And what you get out is a big piece just like this. And it's literally just a, like a cardboard wall. And this wall then gets processed in the packing material. So let's see how they turn this wall actually into all different shapes to fit the juicer so that the juicer is not damaged 
when it shifts view. So with this machine, what they're doing is they're pressing out the cardboard to make the shapes to protect the products when it's shipped to you. And this is how they get the different shapes. This is like an L shape here. And this L shape actually goes into the Fresh Life Sprouter box to protect the sprouter from being damaged in shipping. And right behind me here, here's the uh, U <laughs> part. I like this a lot. Um, this is the U part that actually goes into the Green Star Elite juicer box. The juicer sits in the bottom so that it's not damaged. Now, this is much better to use than any kind of styrofoam or any of the foam stuff because once again, that foam stuff, I mean, what happens to it when it's sitting in the landfill? I mean, styrofoam won't degrade for hundreds of years. I mean, it's ending up on beaches in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, so we don't want to support companies that use that. We want to support companies that have truly green products, such as this. I mean, this can be put in your cardboard recycling. They use a starched, based glue to basically glue all this together. I mean, this is just paper. It'll, it's recyclable, or even better yet, reusable. So let's go to the next section and see how this big, long piece is turned into a smaller piece that's gonna fit the uh, Green Star Leaf box. So this is how they cut these big pieces with this bandsaw. I mean, this is an industrial bandsaw blade to cut paperboard, and man, this thing is super dangerous, so you gotta be really careful. You gotta hold it and run it right through. Bring it out very carefully. Here we go. So this is the part that ends up in the green star elite box to protect your juicer before it gets to you. So next, let's go over to another part of the factory and create more packing for the green star elite. So we just got that piece cut out, but you know, it wasn't done yet. They actually had to strengthen it up. So to make some rigidity, they added some smaller pieces and these are actually glued into there. So they added a three pieces that are glued in here, here, and here, and plus they added another piece on the bottom to basically give it a little bit more protection. So that's definitely really good. I mean, this is a solid, I mean, if you put this in water, it's probably gonna float like a boat for a little while until it became waterlogged. So this is definitely a really durable part. And once again, you know, they only do all this work to basically be a green company, because if they had an injection molding of styrofoam, it could make it in one false swoop, but you know, they go through the extra effort so that they can make this out of the cardboard because that's really the way to go. And companies that are really proactive with actually being green and not just talking green are doing things like this. The next thing they're making over there, and we'll take a look at this in a second, is actually the top, the covering part. So the juicer sits in here, and this is the top part that actually goes over the juicer to basically keep it in place in the box. So let's take a look at that next. So this is how they construct all these pieces. They use some hot glue to basically glue all these different cardboard pieces together. And this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of separate cardboard that go to make this one piece that protects your juicer when it gets to you. So basically what happens is this is folded out like this. These two ends are folded down. So these ends here provide protection from the front and rear. And these nice thick pieces provide protection from the sides. The handle sticks up in here and this is the main body coming out of here. So, you know, once again, using cardboard instead of non-renewable and non-recyclable materials is really smart. So next, let's go into the other building to see how they make all the different Tribest products. So now we're in building number two of three, and this is where they inject the plastic into these big machines. And they have six injection molding machines that build all the plastic parts for the Tribest products. Here, you know, close to you, they have these smaller machines, and on the other end, they have a super giant machine. So the smaller machines make the smaller parts, and the big machines make the larger parts. So today, what I think they're making are they're making some Sedona dehydrator parts, including the mesh sheets that go in the dehydrator. And once again, those are, and the whole Sedona dehydrator is BPA free, and so that's really cool. And then they're also making the uh, back panel of the Sedona dehydrator. They're also making the personal blender body. So let's take a look at how those are made. So I got a special duty here at the factory today. I'm really lucky. This is the ABS. Once again, ABS does not contain the BPA. 
these are the plastic beads that I have in this bag. You can see them. I mean, I wish this was gold or silver. I'd be rich. <laughs> but it's not. It's ABS. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this bag. And man, this bag is like 50 pounds. We're going to carefully pour it into this hopper. And this hopper is what feeds the machine to make the plastic parts that are going to end up in your TriMest products. All right, I think I've got a new job now. I'm an honorary factory worker. So we're looking at one of the injection molding machines that makes the parts for all the different TriBest products. Now they basically could take the different plates in there or the molds and they have a whole collection that I'll show you in a second of molds that they just basically put in the different molds depending on what they want to build or make that day. So right now what they're building is something for the personal blender. So uh, they were nice enough to make me a nice fresh carrot juice made in the Green Star Leaf Juicer and boy, nothing tastes better than that. So you can see this is a drip free top that you can just basically uh, drink out of when you're driving. It makes uh, drinking your personal blender smoothies really easy and drip free. And that's what they're making right here. You can see here, they're all coming out of the machine just like that and let's see if we can watch that machine open up and drop that next one out there it is it opened up they just dropped out did you guys ever see that indiana jones movie where he like goes in the big warehouse where they pick, like have the ark of the covenant in all the boxes and all the storage stuff that's what this reminds me of so there must be at least over a hundred different molds up there that will make all the different parts of the green star juicer the green star elite juicer the Fresh Life Sprouter, the Personal Blender, and the Solo Star 2 Juicer, and also the brand new Sedoni Dehydrator. So they probably have them all labeled up there and some kind of intricate systems that get, they can keep track of them all, because otherwise, you know, they probably get confused with all those molds up there. So this is yet another injection molding machine, and unlike the one we just saw, this one, the parts have to be taken out by hand because when they want a good precision part with no scratches, it needs a little bit of extra work. So they pull out each part by hand. You can see him behind me. He's pulling out each part by hand. And this is what they're building here. This is the base for the personal blender. As he pulls out each one, he needs to basically uh, cut off the mold piece that he's doing here. Then he boxes them up and then they get stored until they're ready to actually build these up and they're probably gonna build these in the next week or two and then there'll be some shipping to the USA and this may be the personal blender that you buy. Maybe I'll autograph the inside and if you get that one, that is the lucky ticket. <laughs> Just kidding. So what they're making here in this injection bowl machine are these guys right here and this is for the all new Sedona dehydrator once again this is a BPA free sheet. This is made of a PP or polypropylene. You can see the machine opens up. He removes it out. He takes it out and then he does some uh, last minute trimming in case there's any kind of uh, you know uh, imperfections in it so that you'll get a nice clean piece to use in your dehydrator. And so this is the largest of their injection molding machine and they're building actually the back panel of the Sedoni dehydrator. So now today they're running the back panel, maybe tomorrow they'll run the sides, the next day they'll run the top. Every day they gotta run different parts and as they run each part, they're gonna put them in the boxes and store it until they're ready to make the Sedona. So there it is, it opened up and that is one big super huge mold. And there's the piece right there. I mean, this is just fresh. Wow, it's still even warm. It's fresh out of this big tooling machine and once again this is ABS so ABS doesn't contain any BPA. This is where the fans are going to get mounted in here so that your dehydrator will be able to dry all your fresh produce into some yummy delicious dehydrated treats. So here's another assembly area now they have so many different projects going on at one time they're you know making plastic injection molded pieces in the other building they're assembling these parts here, they're testing this, they're testing that, and they're also assembling the Green Star Elite Juicers. I don't know how they keep it all straight. The manager here must be really good at multitasking. 
But what we're looking at here are the main piece for the Tribest personal blender. This is actually the top piece that actually goes underneath the main housing. And what they're doing is they're taking these little switches. And uh, these little switches here control when the personal blender comes on and off. So they're basically putting them in here and mounting them in place so that your blender will work when you get it. So that's really cool. They're doing all this work here. They've got the assembled ones. So they're packing these up in boxes and when they are ready to go, they're just gonna take the box into the assembly room and assemble the personal blender. And it'll be all ready to go so that you can make smoothies and take them on the go. So now we're in the motor testing room and there's definitely a smell of like brand new motors running. So they're testing these motors for a few reasons. Number one is for quality control to make sure, once again, your personal blender that you get is going to run right out of the box. So the other thing they're doing is that they're letting the motors run for five minutes. And what this does is as the motor runs, some of that off-gassing and the smell that occurs when you run a brand new motor will come off. And actually this room has a nice smell. So uh, let's move on. I want to get out of this room and uh, not have to smell these motors anymore. Plus it's really loud with that constant humming. Maybe the guy in here should have the earplugs. <laughs> So this is a special test jig they manufactured to test each and every Sedona dehydrator that leaves a factory. What this tester does is it tests the main board for the Sedona that has the, basically the LEDs to know the temperature you're set at and how long you're going to run the dehydrator. This is computer controlled so this unlike other dehydrators on the market is actually an intelligence uh, microprocessor controlled dehydrator and here are the little chips in here they're really quite small but what this jig does it makes sure that all the different components on this PC board are properly soldered and it's working correctly and all the buttons are properly working because if you get it and then you press the buttons and it's not working you're not going to be happy so here at Trivest they check many of the parts like the Sedona like we just saw they're checking the motors for the personal blender and they make sure there's high level of quality control so that when you get that machine, you're going to be able to take it out of the box, put it in your kitchen, plug it in, turn it on, and get immediate results so that you can become healthier by consuming more fresh fruits and vegetables. So let me show you how this works. They plug this all up. They turn it on. They press a couple buttons. And you can see the lights pop on. And that's to let you know that if these lights come on, that means uh, you know certain buttons and certain controls on this panel are working properly. Then they switch this button, and then these two buttons in the middle light, or these two lights in the middle light up, and basically that's a good circuit board, and that's a good power supply in here because that's the power supply that basically drives the circuit board. So both these components are tested in this one jig. The other thing they have a computer next to me. And the other thing that's really good about the Sedona is that, you know, once again, I did say it's microprocessor controlled. One of these is actually the microprocessor chip, and the other one contains the program. So should they ever need to program or reprogram the computer on here, they literally just take a little plug, plug it in, and then they could basically download a new program into this chip should your program become defective or, you know, maybe they need to do some adjustments. Now, once again, you will need to send your dehydrator into Trivest to be able to do that. That's, this is not user serviceable, and if you try to user service your dehydrator, you will probably end up voiding your warranty. Now we're inside part of the building that contains all the cardboard. And once again, they produce all this cardboard at the first factory that we just saw. And these are all the cardboards. Basically, I'm standing in the whole area of all the colored printed cardboard. So you can see here, Here's the cardboard packing for the Trivest Personal Blender. I think I'm standing on more Trivest Personal Blenders. There's the Green Star Elite Boxes, the Mason Jar Personal Blender, the Green Star Gold. All the different boxes are contained in this room. So we're in the warehouse after all the plastic parts are made. They basically get put in boxes and then they get stacked here. And you know, once again, they gotta have some kind of amazing organization system to keep track. I mean, they're just pallets and pallets of boxes of who knows what kind of parts. Maybe it's labeled in Korean, so I can't read it. I don't know what's in here, but I'm sure they got it under control. And, you know, there's so many different things in here. Hey, let's check out what's in this box. All right, I know what this is. Oh, this is so cool. 
So here we go. This is the front door to the all new Sedona dehydrator. So this is the door that goes on the hinge that folds down. So I really like that a lot. Once again, that's real tempered glass. So definitely a quality piece in the Sedona dehydrator. So next, let's see how these pieces are assembled in the assembly area. You know, today they're not building Sedona dehydrators, as, but they are making some parts. So what they do, the parts once again come in here, get stored until they have a production run of the Sedona. Their production run today is of the Green Star Elite GSE 5000 juicer. So let's go into that uh, production area and check out and see how the GSE 5000 is made. So this is the final assembly area. You can see on one side of me they basically have empty outer boxes, the GSE 5000 shipping box, ready to go. But what they're first doing is they're actually having to build a machine that are actually going to go in the full color boxes. So next, let's take a look at how their production line works and how the Green Star Elite GSC 5000 juicer is made. So this is where the assembly of the Green Star Elite GSC 5000 juicer starts. They basically take the motor, they put the motor down where they attach the main front housing and then they attach these little snap arms and here's all the little snap arms here in the box. Then what happens is they assemble the bottom of the case so let's take a look at that next. So here's the next step. You can see it happen. They take these bottom pieces and they basically attach the bottom piece or the base plate to the bottom of the machine. And here he is right here. He lines them all up. And then he's going to have to screw each and every screw on. So each and every Green Star Lead Juicer is hand assembled. So you can see once he assembles the machine, he turns it upright, he gets all the uh, wires ready to get plugged into the motor, and here's the motor, he's going to plug in the motor, make sure it has a properly seated connection, then he's going to set it up on top of the motor base, get a screw in there, and then he's going to press this little red button which sends it down the conveyor line to the next step. So here's the next step. After the motor is sitting on the motor base, he takes the powered screwdriver and screws, three screws to hold the motor down into the base. He then will take the actually top housing to fully enclose the motor, plug in the wiring, and actually that's the wiring that turns the juicer on and off. He'll flip that piece over on the top, Make sure he guides the wires down into the machine, attaches the two parts very carefully. They come together nice and tight. Then he's going to take the screwdriver and drive in the screws to hold those two pieces together. So here's the next step. Now that the machine is coming down the line, he puts some more screws to hold the housing together. Then he puts the back plate on. Once again, a couple more screws. And once all the screws are in place, he takes the power cord. This is a very important step. Plugs it in, turns the juicer on, forward, and reverse to make sure the juicer is running properly. Then and only then does he let the machine continue down the line to go to the next step. So here's the final assembly of the Green Star Elite Juicer. He does several different electrical tests. Actually, he uses all these different equipment here to test it to make sure it's all right. So next he takes the twin gears, blows them off with some air, installs them into the machine. He'll then assemble the, all the components on the juicer. This is one man that knows how to assemble the Green Star Elite juicer with this, the body housing, the screen, and the end cap. And he'll finally take the top piece and put that on top of the machine. And he inspects every part before putting it together to make sure they're of uh, good quality. Once again, he'll do a final electrical check because nothing is worse than when a customer gets a machine right out of the box and it does not work. As you can see, they did several electrical tests all during the process to ensure you get it working. Finally, he does a final spray down with high pressure air to make sure the machine is clean and if needed, also will do a wipe down on the machine before it goes to the next station. So we're here at the final station and now the machine's full.
fully assembled, everything's ready to go except for a few things. The stickers, so you can see they're putting on the uh, stickers on there, the warning sticker up top. They're also making sure the machine is clean once again, because nothing is worse than getting a machine that's not clean. And here he is, he's going to go ahead and put the final stickers or the badges on the machine and send it down to the next step where it basically gets boxed up. So uh, let's take a look at that next. So this is the final step where they're actually bagging up the brand new juices that were just made on the assembly line. He's then going to take it and turn it around and put it in one of these boxes. Now once again, the packing material that you saw me have earlier is right in the base of that box. That protects and cushions the juicer in transit. The next thing he's going to do is he's going to take one of these guys, fold this up, he's going to take that, fold it up right, <laughs> and put it in the machine once again to pack the machine so that it will not get damaged in transit. So the last step is he's going to take the accessory packet that includes the instruction manuals, all the different attachments, and the power cord, put it in the box, he's going to push the box down, seal it up, and there it is a completed Green Star Elite Juicer. So here is the finished product, the Green Star Elite Juicer, all in the box. The next thing is they put it in the outer shipping box. Once again, this is to protect the machine. Right in the box, they seal it up, put some tape on it, All right, and that's it. That's how the Green Star Elite Juicer is made. So after the machine is made, they're basically stacked in the warehouse, ready for the trucking company to bring the container so that these can be hand loaded one by one in the container. Hey, I think there's a container outside being loaded now, so let's head outside and see how they load up that container. So we're here at the end of the process, and now what's happening is that the machines are actually destined to the United States. This container is going to the United States and one of these machines may end up in your kitchen. And what they're doing is they're basically taking all the pallets, loading it up into the container, then basically they basically hand pack each and every box into the container and actually they fit it nice and tight. Every last inch of this container will be used because you know, when they get charged for the shipping, they're charged per container. I mean, they could ship a container with one box or they could fill it to the brim and that's what they're doing here. So they just loaded the Green Star Elite. Now they're loading up the uh, PB250, that's the Personal Blender 250, the PB150, which are basically the all new BPA free Personal Blenders. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, learning more about the Trivest products and how they're made here in Korea. So once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.